Hello guys, welcome back to Talk Transit, a pathology educated and academy. So we are going to discuss one more question which came in the new PG 2021. It's a very very simple and a straightforward question. We'll be having more discussion on this question because this is nothing to explain this question. A direct question which of the following is found to be defective in HNPCC. It's going to be your methyl mismatch repair, right? That's the problem in your HNPCC or your hereditary non polyposis colon cancer or your Lynn syndrome, whatever it is. It's going to be a methyl mismatch repair defect, right? A precursor of HNPCC, precursor of a carcinoma in HNPCC, serrated retinoma. I just want to put that MCQ as well as together, fine? So we'll have quite a few discussion in the allied topics. One first thing I'm going to talk about this. Diseases involving DNA repair. Like your nucleated accident repair also can be defective, which relates to your xeroderma pigmentosa. The predominant is going to be present is going to be skin repair. Actually, the BRCA syndromes are also a DNA repair problem, right? They are repair in your homologous recombination. All your nuclear direction repair, methyl mismatch repair, all those basic chain repair, all of them are mutation defects. Homologous recombination and non-homologous end joining, both of them are chromosomal repair defects, right? So the chromosomal repair defects and BRCA1 and BRCA2 is involved in that, you have breast and ovarian cancer and many of them as well. And HNPCC is a methyl mismatch repair or a mismatch repair defect, right? These are the basic ones. Since today's topic was in HNPCC, I thought we'll go back to our criteria and go to discuss about it. The problem with HNPCC is I have to have a very strong eye of suspicion and to pick up cases and to evaluate for HNPCC. When I have a biopsy, I have to do the biopsy finding as well as clinically there's going to be evaluation. I have two things here. I'm sure you must have learned about the Amsterdam criteria. This is a clinical criteria where, see, look at the time. Amsterdam 2 came out in 1990. It's a very, very old criteria, right? We have something called Bethesda criteria for HNPCC. I'll look at them soon, right? So we have at least three colorectal cancers in relatives which are related and they have to be verified pathologically. Colonoscopy is not sufficient here. You have to take a biopsy and say yes, it's a colonic cancer, fine. And one of the first degree relative and two in the success generations and one of them diagnosed before the age of 50. And FAP should be excluded. Again, I do an APCB tachydendin test and say I'm going to reboot FAP. This was the older criteria. So in 1998, eight years later, what they did was, I'm not going to just say colorectal, I'm going to say any cancer related with HBC can be colorectal. One one person can have colorectal, same family, again uh, having an endometrium cancer that also comes in the purview of HNBC. I'm going to take that as a positive tree. Ureter, renal, pelvis, any cancers of that sort, fine. Two to five in the sense, these four do remain in the new Amsterdam as well. Allied cancers along with your colorectal and it should be in first degree relative to success generation and one of them identified less than 50 years and FAP should be excluded. That stays there, right? That's a very, very older one. So we have sorted out for a new class a criteria called based on Bethesda. What Bethesda criteria says that when I'm going to evaluate for micro, your genetic testing for HNPCC, right? Tumors of individuals who should be screened for microsatellite instability. This becomes very important because the person who's going to take a call, I'm going to take do a HNPC mutation or an MSI, MSH, ISC on this patient, it's going to be the pathologist because I'm going to see the microscopy. There are a few very powerful, subtle findings in microscopy which says that this is most likely as with HNPC. There I'm not going to look for any history. If history is there, more than enough for me. Even if not, I'm going to go ahead with it, right? Any colorectal carcinoma diagnosed before age of 50. Any any colorectal carcinoma before the age of 50 with without family history, I have to do this. Presence of any synchronous or metachronous. Synchronous means at the same time, one more cancer. No age here, maybe 80 years old, same time has two cancers, I'm going to be worried. Metachronous, initially there was a colon cancer, later the same patient had an ureter cancer. I'm going to be worried, I'm going to do that, right? And CRC with a high microsatellite instability, this is again a basic preliminary genetic testing and the patient is diagnosed before 60 years of age. Before 60 years of age, but in microscopy, I show that IHC, there is instability proven. Then I have to do this genetic testing. I am compelled to do this genetic testing because it could possibly be a Lynch syndrome, fine. And your colorectal cancer, CRC stands for colorectal cancer, in one or more of the first degree relative and any of the HPs, HNPC related tumors diagnosed before 50. This is where your uh, Amsterdam criteria fits in, right? So these are not in Amsterdam criteria. So all of them are included now. And two or more first degree relative, regardless of the age, if it's two or more first degree relative has that, I still am going to be worried about your HNPCC. I have to test for that genetically, not just based on IHC, right? So this is Bethesda criteria. You have to know about Bethesda criteria because Bethesda criteria is a newer one. And I'm going to use Bethesda criteria in day-to-day -day practice to say which of these tumor tissue has to go to genetic testing. Few of them 
I'm going to do IHC and I'm going to be satisfied about it. If it fits any of this criteria, I'm going to do a genetic testing, right? So we had discussed something related to HNPZ today. Hopefully it will help in your upcoming evaluation of the patient or your MCQ, fine. Do download the N Academy app and do follow me at PathoCups and we have lots of special classes designed for you and hope it will help you. If you have any query in the recalls which came in this uh, NEED PG 2021 related to pathology, do comment below and let's thrash it out and let's learn together, fine. See you one in one more question. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.